Let's get into the first, well not the first, but the project that we're doing today. So we're using three of my brand new die sets and it's going to have a Christmas twist because I did a, uh, on YouTube, on my channel, I did um, a voting and by lunchtime today, it was 46% on doing a Christmas project with my brand new release. So I have, I've digged out three, or I've dug out three. So the first one is the suitcase die set. You've seen this before. Um, I made this lovely suitcase over here. Let me just grab it. Here we go. We did this over a few lives. And we have a brand new additions for this one. Now this one here is the luggage additions die set. And this is kind of like a memory index card system. And we have the track here that you fold up. So this is the, this is unique to me uh, as far as I know. And these notches here start on. So we have the long ones here and we have a wider one here and it was designed to go with the luggage but you can use it in other boxes depending if you know you can get the length and you can snip this down as well to the length you want and then on the suitcase i'm going to get quite fancy i think and i'm going to add a box frame this is an, another release from the same collection you don't this is optional you can just make the suitcase but to make it a little bit more fancy because it's christmas i'm going to add a frame onto the front of the luggage as well. So just to make it a little bit different from things that I've made before, because I want to give you loads of ideas on what you can do. Okay, so you may have seen already the luggage one with the index cards in, and then we're gonna make another, we're going to be making another version of that one. And this one here, you would have seen, I think in one of the previews, I will link the video, the, it is definitely linked in the description box for my launch where you just got to see everything in the launch. So this is made from half of the luggage. So it's like the base of the luggage. I've reinforced it with some chipboard on the sides and at the bottom. And as you can see here, I have the track going along the center and I've used the medium sized cards for this one. But today we're going to be making the full set. So it's gonna have the lid and it's gonna close and everything. And we're going to be using this track here, the same track, but you can trim it down. It does have a notch in the die, which I will show you when we get to it, but you can trim this down so you can fit a track here and a track there. And then the cards are going to go across that way. It will all make sense. It will all make sense once we get to it. So let's start getting everything together. So the collection, I'm, I was so in love with the collection that we used last time in my previous video. I'm going to, I'm going to use it again. There's nothing wrong with using the same collection. It, you know, just go for it. If you like it, just go for it. And here it is. It is Cozy, Cozy Christmas from Echo Park. It's a digital collection. And um, I got that from Snap Click Happy. Is it Snap? No, Snap Click Supply. Dot com. Um, I don't think I have linked it, but I will add the link later. Um, and at the moment, if you love Cartabella, all of their digital products are half price, 50% off. But because I like the Echo Park one, I'm gonna stick with this one. So I'm going to cover the outside of the suitcase with that one. So before I delve into all of this, and while I'm doing all of my score lines, I'm gonna quickly read the comments. So what I've done, you're going, to need, you're going to be needing a large format die cutting machine for this, something that's going to take A4, because this is the die here for the suitcase, and that is um, almost A4. You literally get a little slither all the way around, and that's cut out. So I've cut myself two of these, and I've added some tape. I don't normally use tape in my demonstrations, but I thought I would make a little bit of a change, because you, you see me with my glue, and I will add a bit of glue here to the center. So, so I'm just going to hold the score lines while I read some of the comments. So hi Kim, hi Anastasia. Don't worry about being late, we've literally just got started. Hi Rita, uh, yes I am live. Oh she's going to Stop watching the voice to watch this, more interesting. <laughs> Hi Georgiana, 
North Carolina. What time is it in North, North Carolina? It is currently 20 to 9 in the evening here. Hi Lynn! I was going to say hello if you hadn't turned up. Don't worry Lynn, you've not missed much at all. I'm just getting into it and um, I've just shown everyone the unique um, index card system that we're going to be using today so that this runs onto there and it slides along and you get different sizes of these in the in the die set so I am tempted to design some extra bits and bobs for this just to jazz it up a little bit so we've got uh, you know index tabs and and things like that so that could be all to come okay so I've taken all of the um, no I've done all the scoring and now I know that you've seen me do this before quite a few times I think um, especially with the live one that I made with the that yellow one that I just showed you so I'm going to be working with as I said earlier I'm going to be working with the red tape today let's see if it's still a little bit more of a challenge okay so Lynn's asking what is it it's the new memory card system that fits inside the luggage so you can have sliding memory cards um, you can turn them into recipe cards you can add photos you can cut the photos out with them so this piece here this is um, ba -ba -ba. this long piece here this is going to be the join and then you need to cut two of these and two of these so I'm just going to add my tape to both sides it probably would be quicker to use the glue okay so I have the score line here that I folded already and um, just to make it a little bit easier you can fold it again the other way because it does kind of need to be in that sort of position and then what I'm going to do is try not to get my head in the way I'm going to glue this stick that on there now this I can tell straight away will be a lot easier if you're using glue okay that's the first one down didn't do too badly I don't think so let's take the second one off so I've folded all of my score lines first done my tape and um, another thing that you can do before you assemble this together is to add all of your mats but because mine's going to be directional I don't want to put anything on upside down because that would probably annoy me annoy me quite a bit so okay so we now have two of these stuck together this is the I've, I've tried to put this together a few different ways for me this is the easiest way that um, you can put this together without it falling apart where you can get your hands in to do these these tiny little flaps here as well okay so I'm going to start on this side here and then I'm going to do the other side so I don't know how well this is going to last or stick together well with the red tape on the actual craft cardstock because I know sometimes when I've made things with craft cardstock the only thing that keeps things sticking down really well is to use glue so I'm just going to add a bit more glue here this is just going to add it it means I get the instant stick and it's strong as well so what I'm doing is I'm with this line here I'm lining it up with the corner there we go just like that and then I have a really good nice neat corner that way that is pretty much what I aim for during construction that is what's going to give this a really good finish and it makes the whole load of difference between something that's well made and something that kind of looks like it was put together rather quickly so okay so let's pop this one on the other side there we go 
so I just had to say that because I do get a lot of questions on how to make things neat it's just just lining up your corners just it's just the little things like that okay so I'm not going to close this up because then it's gonna be really hard for me to get my hands in to um, do the last finishing touches so I'm going to work on the ones on the other side now these things are sticking to my hand I'm hoping I'm still in frame I should be okay so let's pop that up see as you can tell it's getting a little bit fiddly now but because I haven't closed this end here I can still get my hand in just to kind of just press that down pressing down is important okay so let's do the last one now sorry if this is completely vertical and you can't see what I'm doing but I'm sure you can work out what I'm doing here because this is the because I've done this already on the other ones okay let's pop that on and now we can do the last finishing touches so I'm just going to go around and take all of these backings off here I'm going to have a huge mess I think when I'm finished It's funny, um, at her chanda, they all kept saying, the presenters all kept saying, oh, you're such a neat crafter. <laughs> you know, I, I suppose I was quite neat compared to some of the mess that some of the other um, guests make because they get all the, the inks out, they have everything that they need to use. Whereas I'm just mostly doing, you know, the construction. So I didn't really make much of a mess, but I am the person that piles things up. So I guess I'm a piler. I don't know if there's anyone else that's a piler here, but I'm definitely not a put away -er, although I try. I do try. Okay, let's finish this off. We're almost there. And I have mostly die cut everything that I'm using today. And if you've just joined us, yes, I am adding glue onto the top of my double-sided tape. It means I get instant stick because of the double-sided tape. And I just want that extra security that this suitcase is going to last and not fall apart. Because sometimes dry adhesives, like the tapes, I know red, red line tape is really good, but some dry adhesives can deteriorate and then your, your projects fall apart. Okay, so here we have the suitcase. Right, I'm just going to bend this round just like that. And we'll choose this will be our base so we have these other three here that I've cut so I've got another long one two short ones these have score lines it's going to be hard to tell because I'm using craft cardstock and these pop in right up to the score line and that is going to be your guiding line on how far to glue them down and this is going to help support the lid and I do have another tutorial um, on the yellow suitcase, the summer, suit summer suitcase, where I did use some grey board just to make it super sturdy. So there's loads of ways that you can, you know, just play with this suitcase really. So I'd love to see a smaller version of this. So maybe, um, see I'm getting loads of ideas now, loads of ideas. that's kind of how things just develop in my brain because the suitcase came first I had no idea that I was going to design an index card system to go inside I had no idea when I designed the um the luggage so you know that's how things go okay so I now have my supporting pieces so let's have a quick test because the glue is still sort of wet so that should close in just like so so we're almost ready now to start with the indexing okay oh I need to keep that closed what am I doing okay so I now have some of the cardstock here <clears throat> that I've printed out so let's get some measurements so these measure eight by 
four and three quarters. I should put this back. There you go, I'll put it back. Can't lose it. So I'm going to put this one on. This is where I have to make a decision because I'm putting my frame on. It's gonna have wording on it and this is directional because it has words. So I want this suitcase to kind of be sitting on a shelf like this upright so I'm gonna to have to have my writing that way even though we'll be turning it round and opening it it will be upside down but I'll be adding a frame to this as well so I'll be adding the new 6x4 frame box onto the front of the suitcase And again, if you want to, you can mat um, these as well. So maybe if you wanted a bit of gold foiling behind this, you can do that. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the direction of everything. Do my best to stay consistent. And then we can move on to the box frame. I'm sure you already want to see me do the um, index system as well that's the fun part yes yeah, so we are we are actually going to be cutting out some photo I just read Robin Robin's comment there so we are going to be cutting out actual photographs using the index card dies so this is going to be a really fun little thing to play with and it's going to be perfect for christmas you know birthdays any occasion okay so i've pre-prepared some of the corners so you get in the suitcase die set you get these circles here and they have a little slit there so we can fold these up and then we're going to glue one of the tabs next to the the split there and then we'll glue that into place and then we can glue these onto here so if you want to go in with your distress uh, vintage vintage photo ink you can ink the sides of this I might go on and do my inking after this we'll see how it looks after I've done this because you can always ink the edges after you've put this together and you've decided it needs it so i've done four for this side and now all i need to do is cut another four for the other side so did i put this on the right side nope i've put them on the bottom okay we'll kind of do half and half because this box looks exactly the same from the outside now so just adding glue here just to all of the three sides and then that pops on okay so now I'm ready for my frame which I have already cut out because I don't really want to bore any of you guys and all of these things do take a little bit of time so what I've done is what I would do naturally I would do all of my die cutting I think about my project do my die cutting and some things I like to add in as I go along and make decisions but I kind of had a good idea on what I was doing or wanted to do so let's have a quick look at this one this is the six by four box frame and you also get the dies here so you can add intricate um trellises to uh, the sides and you also get a corner die as well and also these words here so there are two of these sets there's a six by four and a seven by five now i made this one on tuesday live on air and luckily it didn't take me too long actually but this is these are the words here so they fold over to make it super sturdy and I have that up on foam pads and I've used my brand new papers as well it's a textures pad so there's loads of different loads of just different things for loads of different occasions so you can put them towards like your bags and then also a baby theme as well so um, we have this six by four this is the seven by five 
and you can just you know keep them doing them individually or do what I've done I've just glued them together to make a nice um, like montage I guess so these these frames are pretty pricey to buy in the shop so it's absolutely great that you can make your own personally I would make these out of black but black isn't very good for uh, black card isn't very good for demonstrating um, on camera because it's really hard to see or it affects the uh, the white balance and it goes super bright so those are the frames so all you need to do is cut out two which I've done and I folded everything over so all we have to do now is glue these together just like that so let's add the glue and I'm using cosmic shimmer I have absolutely no idea whether it's in stock or not I don't think uh, Lou is here tonight. I didn't see her earlier on um, on Jeanette's live um, earlier as well. So I'm hoping she's all right. Maybe she's gone on holiday. Okay, so I'm going straight up to these lines here. The, the reason why I said that is because Lou always knows whether it's in stock or not, or she goes and has a look. So okay, so I've just trimmed this down just to slightly under six by four, just so I know that all of the sides are going to fold up and I've just added some red tape along the last line of each side. So I'm just going to glue this down and you would do this if you were using a photo as well. So I'm going to add the word Christmas onto this page once I have the frame down. Okay, so I've got everything done. So we're going to actually I need to keep I need to add a little bit of glue to help me here, even though I have the red tape. I have a couple of tips. Okay, so we're gonna start with the straight sides first and then the sides of the angles go in last. So let's just take this off. Oh, it didn't stick to me that time. All I'm gonna do is just add this line here, line it up with the score line there, and then I'm gonna roll it. And because I'm using tape, I need to get it right the first time. So you, if you want to use glue, then use glue. But bear in mind, if your photograph is shiny, glue might take a little bit of uh, time to dry. So, And also use something acid free. Use acid free adhesive if you want to glue your photo to your cardstock because um, that is going to preserve your photograph so if you've ever experienced old vintage photos or photos from the 70s or 80s even the 90s where you have them in albums and they start to get like orange that is the acid in the photo album that is now um, damaging your photograph that is what causes that it's the acid and the lignin in the papers and in the albums so um, it's always best to go for an acid free adhesive and acid free and lignin free paper and card so if you've ever read that on the fronts of scrapbooking papers and collections um, and you ever want and you sometimes wondered why it's acid and lignin free that is why because it's it's archival safe it's safe for your photos and it will help protect them okay so we're now going to work on to the sides so I'm going to do, uh, let's do this side first. So I'm going to add some extra glue here. So I'm going to add the glue onto these side tabs here. I'm not being too careful on those because it's going to be hidden. And if you see these corners just here and this corner just there, I'm going to add a double glue just to those corners there. And that is going to help stick the corner together when we roll it around. So I need to be quick now because I've added my glue. Let's get that off and uh yep debbie said uh oh no lynn says the 30 mil is still in stock so if you really need that glue then you can get it in the 30. okay so i'm just going to pop that onto there and then roll it and there we go and then hold that in place and that glue here as you can see is going to keep this frame because sometimes when you make frames it can get a bit funny here and a bit loose or start to fall apart a little bit so that's looking nice let's do the last one and again this is the six by four and there's also a seven by five available too and that comes with um, the words 
family and friends. Okay, so again, I'm just going to roll this over and pop that down. So this is a really super easy, someone actually said this was a really super easy frame for this particular die to put together. So I'm glad about that. I'm glad someone, you know, at least found it easy to put together. Sometimes you do design something and then you wonder how people are going to get on with it. Okay, so here I have my odd assortment of corners. We are going to double check double check that is the bottom that is the bottom here so this is the top and I'm going to turn it like that that is the orientation I need it to be in and then I'm going to glue this onto the front now that sort of reminds me of television you can get super creative you know you can even cut a hole in there and have a nice display inside with LEDs. Oh, I think I might want to make one of those. Let me know. Let me know. If you if you can um, visualize what I'm trying to say, let me know. So what I'm saying is if I cut a hole there, pop the frame over and create a nice winter wonderland inside the luggage and then um, maybe even use the 3D trees. I have a massive bag of them here. I'm digressing, I know, but you know, I've only got little ones there but I have to get some bigger ones in but you know that that would look really good with some LED lights lighting it up that would look a fab, like a fabulous Christmas ornament on a shelf you can even glue the case shut as well okay so it's really coming together I need to add my handle now because it it's not looking like a suitcase just yet it looks like a box okay so I've cut my handle out here and it comes with the score line so you can fold those up and to curve the handle I'm just going to take my bone folder and just run it gently across just like that and then that's going to give it a nice curve and then I'm just going to double check again yep I have done it right always double check I'm just going to add glue now to these these folded tabs and then if you want to you can mat these I'm just going to add that there and if you want a, a super strong handle just cut two of these handles glue them together and then pop them on here okay that looks straight to me and the nature of using the wet glue I know I've got a bit of wiggle room to move it okay right let's get on with the buckles now because I really want to get on with the um, the index system because I want to show you how it works it's so cool okay so these are going to be my straps I've cut I've cut six but I probably don't need six I can put them back into the I sometimes put extra dies die cuts that I've cut back into the die set because then I know I can use them again I'm hoping the lighting is okay that suitcase might be hiding a few things so I'm just going to glue this buckle this strap here it's pretty hard to see because it's on craft cardstock and it's not the most easiest to see on camera. When I went on to Hachanda for the very first time, I was advised that um, crafting with pastel colors, pastel colors, white, black, browns and craft cardstocks don't show up very well on the camera so all my demonstrations kind of have to be on like like brighter paper just like this brighter cardstock um i can see i can see that point as well and again with magazines they they advise that as well when you're doing commissions for magazines you know kind of stay away from the the craft cardstock if if you can okay so i've got these two down now and i've done some gold buckles i thought about gold or silver but i thought gold would go better with the collection that i'm using so just adding a bit of glue here i'm not going around the sides because they they come off the sides and if you see this join here i'm going to that's where i'm going to put the top part of the buckle or if you want to get super fancy before you glue this on well, it might still work you can slide this down just like that but I would have that part 
hiding the join as long as something's covering the join it should be okay but I like to see the entire buckle even though it's not properly or proper realistic okay let's glue that one on so I glued these together next to each other so I would get the same length and everything is in the right um, place okay let's grab the box happy with that and I'm gonna have the closure this side on some of my other luggages my other suitcases I've I've gone round but because oh, that, that, that actually that actually does look quite nice just on the side there oh I'm oh I'm stuck now what do I do all right I'm going to let you guys decide do I pop them here I'm gonna use velcro do I have the closure here or do I have the closure coming round onto the frame from there I'll have to go down a bit lower but from there I'd say I think that looks really nice but I'm gonna let you guys decide so I'm gonna wait for your um, comments for that in the meantime I'm going to glue turn it over and I have some extra straps here so I'm just gonna glue them on here and it's hard to tell but there there is some stitching on these on these ones because it's craft cardstock but if you add a bit of distressed ink uh, vintage photo or something like that then that will show up okay so Gillian saying front Lynn saying front with exclamation marks I think it's gonna be the front just need to make sure I have this all in the right place okay so Anne saying front Gillian saying front Yep, I, the, only three people have said the front, but that's pretty much unanimous, I'd say. Let's just pop that on. Oh, um, that's not even. That's the nature of glue. We can move it around until it sets. Okay, that's the front done. Okay you've all spoken it's going to go onto the front so let's just grab my velcro tabs okay so I forgot to add these but these are from Amazon they're the oval ones and they're the pack of 100 and as you can see I've, I've been going through them okay so I'm gonna grab my scissors I love how they're on this bit of clear plastic that rolls up you can just trim off what whatever you need okay and then the other great thing I, I bought the ovals so that I could cut them in half okay that's the first one what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add them to the frame and there, I think I'll do that one and we'll add the other one to the other side this is the top still getting paranoid now i've made so many things the wrong way round, upside down and my attention span kind of shrinks by about 50 percent when i go live as well that's when i'm on her channel or when i'm on here i just don't have that processing power i don't know maybe i need a new processor okay that was an it joke by the way okay right so i have my velcro added here what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take the backing off there oh by the way my jokes aren't that funny by the way so but i could definitely do with some more power in my brain but i'm not a believer of tanking myself up on caffeine maybe i should get more sleep that might fix it okay so I'm going to add this needs to come to be glued on the, the bottom half and I need to be able to come round and add that there okay there we go there's the first one this is looking really cute Thank you. 
make sure that is straight. That looks straight. It is straight, but I need to move it along. There we go. Oh, that looks like a proper little satchel. Christmas satchel, that does. I love that. Okay, and I don't think we even need to do any folding or bending because that's just going to curve around there. So let's add glue now to just this top half here. And I promise we're going to get to the memory index system after this. Okay, so let's pop that down. And I'm just going to undo this Velcro here. Because I need to get my hands inside there now to get that in the right place. Okay, let's open this up without moving them too much. Naturally, I'm a bull in a china shop. I drop stuff, I break stuff. So I do find it difficult to be really careful. There we go. I think that's okay. I'm going to have to bend these this way because these are going to get in the way. So just create a little fold and those will come forwards when you have your index system open. Okay, let's move on now. I'm going to pop this over there to dry properly. So let's move over to the, the, the track or the rail and the cards. Okay, so I've shown this a couple of times now in this video, but I'll show you it again. Okay, so this is the track or the rail, and these are the cards. As you can see, they have the notch here and they slide. You can either slide them on from the back and they, they sit there and they run along. So you can have, if you imagine, you can have quite a few on here. I won't be filling it up completely, but you can have quite a few on there and they come off like that. So if you don't want to slide it on from the back or the front, all you have to do is just press it down on one side, twist it slightly, and then it goes on just like that. I'll do it a little bit higher. It just goes on just like that. And then it slides. Okay, so let's make the other one. I have one ready made, so I just need to make one more. So for this indexing system, you only need a small big shot or a small um, die cutting machine, you know, like a standard sized uh, big shot. So I'm just going to bring mine out here. This is a brand new big shot. This came last week because something went inside and it rattled. It wasn't very good. So I wasn't about to undo all of the screws to find out so I just I just I was in a hurry getting ready for her chanda so I just just ordered another one and it came the next day okay so let's grab the die set this is the luggage additions die set and I'm going to pull out the track you get four dies in this one And this tracking system here is unique to Simply Made Crafts. And you have here a notch. It will create a little notch in your card as you run it through. And that's so that you can trim it down to fit inside the luggage if you want to go from there to there. If you want to go from here to here, and just have a long one long one going down this way then leave it as it is you won't need to trim it down okay so i'm just going to quickly turn this on its side slightly because i like to turn it it goes through a lot smoother
Okay, and I'm going to use red tape for this as well, but you won't be able to see it because I have red card. <laughs> okay, let's pop this back in here. I like to kind of, let's be tidy now, let's be tidy. Okay, so I'm going to fold all of these score lines now. So again, I've done the first one. It might be easier if I cut this beforehand. So let's find the the notch. I need to trim this one down. Uh, where is the notch? The lighting isn't that great in here. It's it's showing up okay on the camera, but I can't find the notch. Oh, there it is. It was lower down than I was. I was looking up here, it's down here. Okay, the notch is there. I don't know whether you'll be able to see. So I'm just going to cut up in a straight line. You can use a trimmer if you want to. There we go. And that is what we need. So fold all your lines down. I'll give you sizes in a moment, um, Robin. So did you need the sizes of the actual index cards? Okay, so everything is now folded. So I'm gonna add some uh, red line tape now. It's just the easiest thing to do here. I've tried it with glue. It's a little bit fiddly with glue. So, the two outer sections, this section here and this section, are slimmer um, than the other sections. So they are differently sized so that we get that tapered shape, the 3D tapered shape. I'm just going to press this down with my bone folder because that really pushes it into the cardstock and makes it a lot easier to um, lift this off. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this to the side here. Probably wondering what I'm doing. So before you actually pop this together and glue it, have a test run, a dry test run first of how this is going to fold in on itself and come together just like that. And because I've still got the backing on there, I can I can see how this and feel how this goes together. So let's start this off. Oh, that's this can be a bit fiddly so I'm moving this off to the side here just starting it off then I'm going to press it then what I'm going to do is just guide everything in the right place and then pull that out and then press that and then pull the rest of that out And there we have our track and the cards are going to slide onto that there we go okay so Robin says yes please okay so let me grab my ruler which I did put away first card which is the smallest measures three and a quarter by three inches so when you have the luggage it's going to be the height of the luggage as you can see so it's best not to add anything over the top on there or have anything sticking out. If you want to have stuff sticking out, make an open topped one with the base of the luggage and then you can have photographs along the top there. And I've even stapled on some rick rack and added loads of extra in, uh, interest and I haven't finished um, adding things in here. I've got loads of room here to add more. And for this one, I've used the medium sized card. So let's pop one of these out. So again, the height is the same because they all need to fit inside the suitcase if you're doing the enclosed version. So that's three inches by four and a half. And if you're wondering, oh, I, my photos aren't gonna fit, you can actually use the dies to cut your photographs out. And then, where's the other ones? Here we are. These are the long ones. These are double. These are double here, so you can have a 
you can have them twinned onto your track so again these are three inches high by seven inches long and that will take the width of the suitcase in there so I'm going to take two of these get my twin tracks here what those ready to go I'll take two of these and I'm going to attach them to each side so there is a possibility that um, they might fall off so I'm definitely going to be using glue I might not need the second one I'm going to keep this in the middle turn it over there we go and then I'm going to add my glue to the bottom side of the track so as you can see that it's wider at the top and the the shorter side is what's glued to the bottom and another great thing about this is nothing falls out if it gets turned upside down they're all locked on okay so I'm now ready to transfer this over to the thing so the reason why I'm doing this this way is because it's going to give me my spacing and my distance so that I can actually have these twin cards in there. So I'm just going to add my next one in before the glue dries and I'm going to have them at the bottom here and at the top. I'm going to slide my card just like that. I know that they're both straight and that there's no odd one going diagonally slightly which will mean that the card won't slide and so I'm happy with that that is how easy this index system is and again you can use it for addresses you can use it for um, photographs mini albums memory keeping recipe cards I think I said recipe cards um, and another thing one of the presenters off Hachanda said which was a really really good idea you can use this for your swatches so if you have um, sprays and you know inks and things like that you can just cut a whole bunch of these out of watercolor paper or textured paper or card do your spray and then you can have all of your swatches in there and you can just go for it you know you can just write hand write all your labels on there and things like that so there's absolutely loads of things that you can use this for and again memory um recipe cards is a really good one as well so i'm going to have my long ones at the back there and pop that in okay so here i have all of my other cards the medium card won't fit it can do but it means it won't slide if there's a shorter card in the way so I'm I save this one for when I have it in this orientation here the long way which would be this way here so there's so many different ways that you can do this okay I don't think I need my glue out anymore so let's do a little bit more die cutting now well, as I said earlier, I, sh I, I said I was going to show you how to actually do this, um, cut out your photograph. So I have just some Epson presentation paper here, but this will work with glossy photos. Um, you know, sorry, I'm sorry if that's a bit boomy. I stepped on my microphone wire. Yeah, not a good thing to do. Still plugged in, I think. Hopefully you can all still hear me. Okay, let's grab the the big shot out. I have a photograph here of a my Christmas pudding with some holly. This is a young leaf of holly before it's gone all spiky, but it has the the holly berries there, so it's still nice and festive. And that was brought over by Mr. G's grandmother. Okay, so let's grab. I'm going to be working with the smaller one and then I want to do a bigger one too I want to show you how I'm going to do that okay let's start with the smaller one first all I'm going to do is just remember that this notch here always goes at the bottom and then we're going to pop it on just like that line it up and again you can get creative with your printer different sizes I just use the software that comes with it you know go into the folder find the photograph highlight all the ones you want to print 
and then you right click press and then the print comes up in the options and then it takes you to the settings so here we have our card so we can grab this now and we can just pop that in now this is the easiest way to do your December daily because you don't have to think about um, layouts and getting fancy you know that stress or that those jobs kind of stop people from getting started because they think oh I've got to do all this that's going to take me ages I can't do a little bit every day but if you just print out your photographs that you want and just use this die here just to cut it out then all you've got to do is pop that in and if you want to you can add stickers and words on it and things like that so there's absolutely loads that you can do and it makes it really super easy and straightforward too so you're not actually put off from doing it okay so i'm going to use this one now to cut out some larger photos so i have two photos here i have one is one's a local house here they go to town every single year it's for charity um and they have a massive massive light display and every year my kids love to go and look at it because sometimes they have new ones added i think they add a, a one or two every year new, a, a few new lights and i think sometimes i haven't worked it out yet i need to compare all the photographs but sometimes um i think he's put it together in a different configuration okay so i think i'm going to be happy with that so i've printed these photographs out at five by seven It would be slightly upside down. I, I would be storing the case on its side like that. That's going to be the front. So I'll be storing it on its side. But the beauty about this is I'm going to turn this upside down, give it a bit of a shake. And the cards haven't fallen out. Uh, they haven't fallen out. That's really bad grammar, isn't it? They have not fallen out. So because they are literally locked on with the angles that we used okay there is our first one so I, there's space here that I can add something I can add some writing I can add a sticker or a piece of card over there with some writing on there so I'm just going to pop this in there you can imagine this full of your photographs and memories of your Christmas and all you've got to do is just add a couple of bits and bobs just to make it super nice that's it that is it that's all you've got to do so let's do one more this is my son he's uh this is when he just learned to write i'm just gonna turn this over now because this has got squishy you see there's a slight bend in there when it gets to that stage where you can press that down that just means you've got to turn it over and then that will keep the, your bottom plate straight and my top plate i don't use for cutting at all so then it doesn't even mark anything on the top okay so again notches at the bottom and i've got my tree in the background there so it kind of just adds to the festivity so i just want his little bit of writing there and he, what he's doing is he's writing out christmas cards for everyone in his class so he had about 30 to write out and then the teacher's one as well because he's always got to write one for himself as well so he gets a card my daughter did that too So do you remember being at school writing your Christmas cards out for your friends? I do remember that too. It used to take ages. It took him a good few days. I remember one summer, we actually started in the summer because we had some leftover cards and I said, let's just do the Christmas cards. And then we put them away and then it was done by the time we got to December. So if you have a bit of spare time now, write your Christmas cards. Okay. Here is our second one and again there's space here and there's space here for me to like you know 
write the story or what Jamie's doing or you know add the date and things so I'm just going to add this in between these cards here and then what I'm going to do is add some of the other cards that I have cut out so I've got loads here I'm going to turn this suitcase into a December daily so again I'm going to go back to these advent numbers whenever I see packs like this I always grab about three because these are so useful and I prefer to have these in sticker sticker form instead of um, something you would die cut because die cutting all of these numbers isn't really one of my favorite jobs okay so there is no stick on that so I think we we discovered that last time I used them in the last video so I'm going to use glue and that will just keep them in place as well because sometimes these stickers they you stick them on and then they just fall off so this is going to be my December daily for this year I'll take those ones out and I'll pop those in another one I'll probably make a different version for those so this is going to be my Christmas 2020 so there is day one so I would probably do this before we get to December and then get all of my cards in and then once we get to December I'm then going to print off my photos and then die cut them with the index cards and then and then pop them in and that is something I know I can commit to and do because that is just super easy so there's number two day number two so I can print off as many photos as I want you're not limited to how many pages you leave for your photographs to fit them in so there's not a lot of forward planning for that I can fit as many as I want in there if you see these how they um, I'll show you on this one how much space there is it looks like there's loads here and there are loads here but look this is the space they take when they're squished together and you can still flick through them when they're close together like this you know so I've just spread them out there just to kind of make it seem a little fuller so you can get an absolute stack of photographs in this album so let's add a couple more of these numbers and then I'm going to add the word Christmas to the front of, of the luggage inside the frame because I want the frame to be nice and decorative and then that will be the finishing touch. And again, you can make them double-sided as well. So I would probably put a photograph upside down on there so that you kind of when you when you're scrolling through that will be upside down and you will see that from bird's eye view so you won't have to turn it around so let's get number four put on I just absolutely love these papers again these are digital papers from Echo Park and it's called Cozy Christmas okay so let's finish this off now let's close this up and yes this will be upside down when you close it but I want this to be displayed upright sitting upright on a shelf so let's close that one I might add another bit of velcro just at the bottom there just to help it and another thing you can do is sometimes you can just curl these out because when you have real bags that's what happens they kind of curl they kind of curl outwards so I've gone into my stash and I found some glittery words these are wood chip words these are by do crafts I have no idea if they're still available but there's you know there are loads of things that you can do to recreate something like this you can um, if you have the a word that says Christmas as die cut you can do that you can make your own so I'm going to pop this in here just like that it's not Oh, it might, might fit yeah okay I'm gonna have it like that it doesn't have to be completely diagonal I kind of like it like that and then at the bottom here I'm going to find some numbers I think Chris does Christina have numbers in her pack I need to get some numbers no these are my favorite alphabet dies along with um, my own if I can find them so I'm just adding just the glue to this big C here Oh no, Debbie. 
She said, I remember making them when I was 14 and all the boys threw them away. Oh. I went to, um, in sixth, my senior school was a girls school, so I guess all of my cards were safe. Okay, there we go. So all I need to do now is add my 2020 and I think I will. I will go round with some distress ink. Um, I'm going to use this one here, Vintage Photo. This is this is not the oxide. It's it's the the original, the distress ink one. I'm just going to go round with. I won't do it now, but I'll be using one of my make. This is a makeup brush. Though I have seen the new John Locke ones. I saw John Locke. He was there on Monday. Ah, it's exciting. Was he there Tuesday? I think I, I, the days are merging. He was there for one of the days that, that he was he was doing his um his magazine box so yes he was there it's exciting to see everyone there okay so i'll be doing this off camera but as, as i was saying i want his brushes that is the next thing i think i'm going to get to get his brushes okay so that is today's project so i hope you enjoyed this one so again this is just going to open up like that open it like this so whoever's watching you will get a nice view from that that actually adds a nice bit of weight to the front as well and then you just slide these through so I, i'll add a few more numbers while i chit chat but that is how you put together the memory index card system and this system here is unique to me i had a lot of fun making up this one it's a very simple design but i had a lot of fun and it's very effective and again the cards they stay in they don't fall out not that you'd be doing that naturally so if you like this sort of thing um, there's I've decided I'm gonna do as many uh, mini album related things as I possibly can now for my channel so it's gonna be a mixture of um, simply made crafts and a lot of mini album ideas and pages and things like that and oh I will definitely add in a few gift boxes too especially around the Christmas season so Christmas isn't over for me yet at all I'm gonna keep adding some more so make sure you're subscribed if you're new and give me a thumbs up I always forget people to give me a thumbs up and if you want to give me a thumbs down click that button twice okay so I'm gonna be going now so thank you everyone for joining me today and I will see you again very soon.